Brody Helmet. Helmet Steel Mark I. World War I. Early on in the First World War, the British Army, like other combatants, went into battle without protective headgear. With the arrival of the French Adrian Patton Helmet in 1915, Britain came up with its own design. John L. Brody had invented and patented a design in 1915 called the Helmet Steel Mark I, or Brody Helmet, after its inventor. Brody looked back in history for inspiration, like the German Stahlhelm would, and the eventual design resembled the medieval kettle hat or chapelle de fer. It was a well-engineered solution to the problems of the trenches, featuring a bowl shape with a brim, constructed from steel pressed from a single sheet. This design was cheap and easy to produce and protected the head from nearby shrapnel explosions. However, unlike other helmets, the neck was left exposed. The first design, or the Type A, soon transformed into the Type B, which had a stronger steel content, a narrower brim and a more domed crown, therefore offering even better protection. The weight of the Brody helmet was 1.3 pounds, or 0.59 kilograms. The initial paint scheme was a camouflage of mottled light green, blue and orange, or a solid overall coat of green or blue-grey. These early paint finishes were found to be too reflective and the helmet was too shallow. So in 1916, a matte khaki textured paint, often mixed with sawdust or sand, was applied to the official finish. And in 1917, a cushioned liner was applied for better comfort. Soldiers could also apply an exterior sack cover that camouflaged the outer bowl. The helmet was introduced sparingly in 1915, with British soldiers borrowing them from the trench stores when it was their turn for the front line, but saw wide use by July 1916 as general issue, when one million helmets were produced. Soon, the Commonwealth forces would also be equipped with the Mark I helmet, and US forces, after initially purchasing them from Britain, would manufacture their own version called the M1917. Watch our other videos to learn more. Get your copy of Simple History World War I, available on Amazon now. Thank you guys for all your support on the Simple History YouTube channel. If you enjoy it, please consider visiting our Patreon page. There, you can show us your support for the channel by donating and make a huge difference in what we're able to create for you. Plus, you can get early access on upcoming videos. So let's keep it growing, and thank you for being part of this amazing community.